And it's it's so weird that people bring this up because uh, do they live in some world where they think it's illegal to shoot someone just because they're unarmed? For example, let's say I'm in a parking lot putting my groceries in my car. There's security cameras so it can catch everything that's going on. So all of this is going to be seen by a grand jury. All of my physical actions. And someone starts approaching me aggressively. I turn towards them. I'm going to get that powder poured. But I turn towards them and I put my hand up and I say, hey, you need to back the fuck up. You're making me uncomfortable. That is a universal sign. That gets seen on camera. Me basically commanding them to stop, coming back on my heels, me taking a defensive posture and putting my hand up and saying something to them caught on the camera. What happens when they continue to advance directly at me? If you have a good lawyer, the way the law is written in Texas, and I draw my Glock 19 when they continue to advance, and I put four shots in their chest, blah, blah, blah. And they're still standing. Can I shoot him again? Yes, I can shoot a fifth shot. What happens if he goes down and he starts trying to reach inside his clothes or his pants and I see a bulge in there? That could be a gun. Any idea? This He could be legally unarmed. He could be unarmed. I don't know that. I see a bulge in there that looks like a gun and the camera sees him squirming and moving still. And I state to, again, the grand jury, the jury, my police testimony, that I thought he was reaching for a gun, even though he was down on the ground with five rounds of federal HST in him, and I shoot again. And with a good lawyer, that's still self-defense. I thought he was reaching for a gun that I thought I saw a bulge in his clothes. He was digging through his clothes, trying to get something out. He didn't stop moving. I felt my life was now in danger. Even though he was technically unarmed and wounded, if I can convince the jury that it was reasonable for me to continue to feel in danger at that point because I thought he was reaching for a gun. That's a defense against prosecution. They have to find me innocent. So this idea of, oh, you can't shoot someone because they're unarmed is absurd, it's illogical, and it's flat fucking stupid. You put your hand on your gun. Hey, you need to back the fuck up. You're getting too close. If they continue, you draw. If they take one more step, you are legally justified, at least where I live, drawing, putting around. And it happens that fast. So you have three seconds to get your weapon out and start firing, or less. There are scenarios I'm gonna run here later with some uh, friends of mine. I've got some ex-Special Forces guys and things. I may run some scenarios with you, you guys to see later. And some of that will be interesting. You guys can see how fast some of these things happen.